All my life, I thought I was destined to be in front of the camera. And as we grow up, that destiny dissipates and becomes a different perspective, a different idea, and you find yourself mostly behind the camera. Yes, welcome back to my channel. I am Satems, to those who don't know me. And I just want to share my story and where I'm at at the moment. Yes, I started YouTube a long time ago. I don't even know the year, I think it was 2019. And I've never necessarily committed to YouTube as an everydayer, every weeker, but it's something that I was really ambitious about that I wanted to work, right? So it didn't necessarily work directly the way I wanted it to work, but honestly, with time, so many skills that I learned from YouTube helped me propel my career where I'm at today, which is what I want to share. So, as a person that has studied performing arts formally and eventually had to leave that, it was a bit confusing to me, where do I go next? Where to from here, darling? And it was quite a difficult decision to make because in my head, I was like, if I'm not going to be doing performing arts as an individual, then I have to go back to university and study something like law, accounting, etc, etc, right? But in the midst of it all, which is so beautiful, again, coming back to YouTube, having had started YouTube, it also opened me up to the world of influencing. And that is exactly the beginning of the chain of like a change or adjustment to my career because then came things like TikTok that we killed when it arrived, when we were still active. I'm no longer active on TikTok again due to the fact that I was also changing careers and I didn't want to necessarily depend on the fact that I have to be on the algorithm every day for me to make a living because I was so nervous about that. But the truth is, yes, again, you've learned, well, I've learned, that with time you don't really have to be on the algorithm all the time. It's just a matter of you finding a seat on the table and then after that, move with it. For me, I was busy preparing that seat on the table and then I disappeared. <clears throat> and I disappeared to the world of PR and marketing where I found that I no longer want to be at the end of the stick where as an influencer, you are the last person to be contacted about something that is important such as a campaign or some sort of awareness that's being brought by a brand, whatever it is, I wanted to be the person looking for the influencer, being part of the ideation of what the influencer was going to be do, and that's when I found my world of PR and marketing. The more I got into it, the more I understood what people were doing, I was like, what? This is me. This is where I belong. This is what I've always been doing, even in high school, in some nature or another. But the, 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 the lack of knowledge from my side in terms of, I never understood it as PR and events, marketing and all those things. It was just the idea of making things happen. That is the tense, right? And now that I've been transitioning here in Germany, in the last four years, eventually I found myself being interested and in putting time into marketing. I am currently a student studying marketing, but that is obviously not the main thing that is most important for me to keep going. I am in Johannesburg and I need to pay bills, so Satens had to find a job. And that's one of the things that I really want to share my journey with. Someone that's out there that's not that doesn't know necessarily how to go about their life right now, especially if you're unemployed, if you don't know what's up, where to go. For me, I was also in that position where I was unemployed, I didn't know what to do, but I had to look at what I was able to do so that I can find the to best position myself in the market so that I'm employable wherever and also I can be stable and pay my bills and be part of life, you know. Um, so yes, I, I want to start actually when I, when I was an influencer myself and also I was busy doing the social media thing because that's how I initially started in high school, by posting pictures as an artist, I wanted to brand myself. And during that branding, I came across things such as YouTube and seeing my um, people my age, like La Cizue, like your friend is making money. And I was like, girl, you can make money through this. And whilst I found a way of making money, and I did, and was making money, I was like, this is not enough, and I want more, and I want a different kind of perspective on how to go about this. I eventually thought to myself, darling, let me go out there and start helping people that need assistance on their social presence and to help them achieve their goals as brands, individuals, whatever. 
So the way I initiated my process was to first approach a few small businesses and a few individuals that were quite big. And we had a conversation and I was like, look, I understand where you are at, but this is where I'm at. Allow me to intrude in your platform and assist where I can from branding, marketing, storytelling, um, the next post in terms of ideas, basically content calendar, doing all the formal stuff and nitty gritty things that people don't like doing for themselves. And I was like, let me do it. This is professional and I want to gauge skill and collect as much um, lessons from working for people so that I can start building my personal portfolio. And as that happened, um, I bumped into a post on Twitter which oh, changed my life because there was a client, which was my biggest client, that was looking for a social media manager. And then, obviously, they were not my biggest client. They were not my client. I didn't, know, I didn't even know who they, the, these people were, but the post was looking for a social media manager. And I was like, oh my gosh, I am going to be a social media manager. And this was the first time for me also, someone was going to pay me for what I'm doing for them on a social media basis. And that, for me, was solidifying my entrance and the beginning of my career in marketing and PR, specifically on digital marketing. And that's something that I want to share more of to those that, again, are stuck and they don't know what to do with themselves, with their lives, and how to continue. Because these are the, one of the things that you can definitely, this is one of the worlds you can definitely immerse yourself in and find what you love in this world and go out there and assist people that need your help. And you'll get paid, you know? So, yes, my, my client, anything, I only met my client for the first time on the interview. I still didn't know who my client was until I saw them face to face. And when I saw them, I was like, ah, it's you? What? Of course. And it was an incredible experience. We were long term. We had a long term, long, long term, great relationship. And also I was then almost involved in other things beyond social media. Because remember for me to successfully share and you know build a brand's identity, I also need to understand that brand corner to corner. You know what I'm saying? And that again also allowed, or at least um, what can I say? I would say, no, not allowed, but it kind of paved my confidence in, in this platform. So I continued working for these people and doing great work, showing results as well, because I said I was going to make you trend, and that's exactly what we were doing. So my client was quite happy that I, I was doing what I said I was going to do. And remember, social media management or digital marketing is not about trending. If anything, marketing alone is not about trending. It is about building that community. It is about building that trust with your customers so that they understand where you're coming from, your story, so that when they're ready to buy, they have you in mind. You know what I'm saying? So yes, again, to conclude, the purpose of this video is sharing where I'm at and why I've been gone. Um, I continue with this client and with time, obviously, you get to learn more, you get to expose more in the industry. And then I understood that there's so much more I could give, but I need to be in a space that also will cultivate that for me. The learning and also the environment of other people that are seasoned in the space. I need to be inspired myself so that I can grow because I'm very young. As a self-taught individual as well, I do need to get that influence of people that are doing this on a bigger scale. And, and lo and behold, sorry, sorry, lo and behold, um, something came up. An agency was like, hello, we are looking for someone to contribute their experience, their zest, their passion, um, and their creativity to a retail company that is big. And for me, again, that was another stepping stone in affirming what I have to bring to the plate. I ended up working for TFG, which is like, yes, darling. Um, it is something that I'm really proud of as an individual who, again, was in the dance world and having to transition into this world alone. Alone. Literally having to find a way or another to package myself to be seen not as a dancer, but as a PR slash marketing individual. Anyway. I am not going to go too deep. These stories, I can go in detail with them, if anything. What I'm coming to share with you is that I've experienced and I'm ready to share and grow with you whilst I'm continuing to go in that marketing um, 
um, industry. So I really want to chat more with my people and also understand what are they looking for? Where are you at? And what are we about in terms of this channel? Not this channel holistically, because again, I've not been committed to you and I'm so sorry for that. But yes, conversations, stories are something that are very important to me. And I haven't found that knack in this channel where I get to have conversations and share proper stories because for some reason, clearly I'm serving myself and not you. And I want to serve you. What are you looking for? Anyway, if you can share that on the comment section below, I'd appreciate it. Other than that, I would appreciate you following me on my socials as well. Instagram, it's S W I T H E M S. That's tips everywhere. Facebook, TikTok, LinkedIn, wherever you can find an individual with a portfolio or profile, I am there as Thames. Otherwise, thank you so much for your time. I do appreciate it. Till next time, it won't be too long till I'm back again. Mwah! Darling.